Hey everybody, Polo Sham here. Quick update, my 4x4 tent under the Damia DM6000, 650 watt, 12 bar, grow light, look at those Osram diodes in it. We're growing peach spill from South Bay Genetics. And uh, yeah, so, day 14. Girls are stretching out, we got buds everywhere. I gotta say, in this tent we cut the tops off these giant plants, scrogged them out. We gave them over a week to recover as they really kind of took it kind of hard during the scrog process. They recovered very well. I actually had to re-scrog them because they were all starting to shoot up and flipped them under this light through this Dalmia DM6000 in here. For the first week, things seemed to be going pretty good. They didn't look super happy, but they were growing along pretty good, and I just assumed they were recovering. The second week came along, and they were starting to stretch. Still not looking super happy. Not really praying, ever. Just growing. And a couple days ago, I started to notice these taller buds looking like they were dying. Really looking quite honestly, like I'd overwatered them. These are in cocoa, 10 gallon pots, and they're very well established. Um, I don't think overwatering was an issue. I, I pretty much think what happened is they started to get too close to this light that was very, very bright. This is listed as having a 40 by 36 flowering footprint. So I figured it should be hung high and that it didn't have a lot of spread. I believe I was wrong about that and that this should not be in a tent this small. Um, it's just too much light for this. Sucking on my titties like you wanted me, calling me all the time. That blondie, check out my Chrissy behind, it's fine all of the time. Like sex on the beaches. What else is in the teachers of peaches? Huh, what? What I did was I went ahead and unhooked four of the bars, dropping this about 200 watts to closer to 450. It's been two days since then, and the results are astounding. Everything is praying. This thing has grown at least four to six inches the entire tent since then. And even these plants back here that looked like they were going to die, uh, they appear to be trying to pray, even though I think those leaves are pretty much screwed. So, we're going to be doing leaf strip here. I'm not going to get it done today. I like to do it on day 14, but it's just not going to happen today. But where we do have quite a, quite a thick canopy here, we're going to strip this down. I'm going to take off these damaged leaves. Hopefully these are all going to recover. Um, I will say that these are all different phenos, and this one in the front, the number two pheno, didn't seem that affected by the light. It definitely didn't die. Now, that makes me actually wonder if maybe uh, the lights on the other side of this are brighter than on this side, because it seems to be mostly the, just the plants on that side. So, we have a little bit here, and this is from that same plant. I think it's really just the pheno couldn't handle the light. It was just too much for it. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to survive because, you know, we've got a whole tent here. 45 days to go. So if only one plant makes it, I guess it wouldn't be a tragedy, but... Okay, it would be a tragedy. What else is in the teachers of peaches? Like sex on the beaches. Uh, what? Huh? Right? see how it's going to go. The second one might not make it. We may end up with one plant here. Just to reset this whole plant. 
see how that works. Oh. All right. I think what's actually going to happen is that we're going to take the geek light and put it in this tent tomorrow. And put this one in the 5x5 five five and see how it does in there. I almost hate to as the 5x5 five five is doing incredibly well right now. But I honestly think it was just too much light for this tent. As you can see it really affects the camera more than most of the other lights I use do. That's a lot of light. And like I said, now they seem to be loving it. We'll see if that one back there can can recover, but um, light toxicity is real. Beach bill. Domia. EM6000. Crazy freaking light. I'll post a link to it in the bottom. Alright, we stay safe. Always going around. Fuck the pain away. Fuck the pain away. Fuck the pain away. Fuck the pain away.